Okay, calculate the binding energy of a lithium nucleus in MeV. Okay, given the mass of neutron, mass of proton, uh, mass of lithium nucleus. Okay, sometime you, if you look at here, here it gives you the mass of pro neutron and mass of proton. Sometimes the question uh, do not give you the mass of neutron and mass of proton. Uh, these two values, mass of neutron and mass of proton, you can actually find in the uh, list of constant. Yeah, list of constant. Uh, there it provide you the neutron mass, okay, and proton mass. You see that neutron mass one point zero zero eight six six five u atomic mass unit, and then proton mass is uh, one point zero zero seven two seven seven atomic mass unit. Uh, so um, it's a little bit different from the value here. Okay, so if the question give you the mass of neutron and mass of proton, use the value here. Yeah, use the value given. Ah, uh, if the question doesn't provide you mass of neutron and mass of proton, if the question doesn't provide you, you find that value from the uh, list of constant. All right, find find it from the list of constant neutron mass and proton mass. It also has the deut electron mass and also the deuteron mass. Deuteron is a um, uh, H two one. Yeah. Uh, H2 one uh, deuterium okay so uh, it's hydrogen 2 yeah hydrogen 2 proton is a hydrogen 1 proton is hydrogen 1 deuterium is hydrogen 2 and then we have tritium tritium is hydrogen 3 uh, okay they are all isotopes yeah well okay so now how to do this question how to find the binding energy so uh, let me okay so here he asked for binding energy okay the binding energy for this nucleus. Uh, this is the nucleus. Uh, the unit we wanted in MeV. Uh, so you need to convert lah, yeah, from Joule to MeV later on. Okay. So before we do this, uh, we need to find the mass defect. Okay? Mass defect. And to find mass defect, we need to write down the equations. Equations of proton and neutron forming the nucleus. Yeah, lithium. Okay, let's write down the formula. So looking looking at this lithium, how many proton? How many proton and how many neutron? Okay, so for lithium it has uh, three proton. Okay, look at the atomic number. The proton number is uh, three proton. Okay, and then the mass number is seven. Seven. So seven minus three. Seven minus three is four. So it's four neutron. Ah. So, this lithium is 3 proton plus 4 neutron forming the lithium. Okay, so now we can write down the equations. Uh, so, it is uh, 3 proton, uh, 3 proton uh, plus 3 neutron. Eh, hey, no, no, plus uh, 4 neutron. Okay, 3 proton plus 4 neutron forming the lithium. Yeah. 4 neutron because 7 minus 3. Yeah, 7 minus 3. You get 4. Okay, and then this one you get the lithium, uh, the lithium nucleus. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, so uh, this all this these are all nucleons. Yeah, all the nucleons, and this is the nucleus. Okay, these are the individual nucleons forming the nucleus lithium. Okay, so to find the first we need the mass defect okay mass defect so use the formula um, delta m mass defect equal to okay how to find the mass defect okay so mass defect is uh, this one yeah uh, all the nucleons minus the nucleus all the nucleons minus the, minus the nucleus uh, so is the z mass of proton plus uh, number uh, neutron number multiply the mass of neutron Okay, total up the, all the mass of nucleons minus the nucleus. Okay, uh, so here we have three, three proton. So we use uh, three times mass of proton plus how many neutron? Four neutron. So it's four times mass of neutron. All right, uh, just like this one. Lah. Okay, and then minus the mass of nucleus, nucleus lithium. Uh, minus the mass of nucleus lithium okay so now substitute all the value here uh, all using atomic mass unit u u u yeah so okay 
So, okay, so three times mass of proton. Mass of proton, we have uh, uh, 1.00. Uh, 7825U uh, okay so mass unit and then plus 4 mass of neutron uh, 1.00 uh, 8665U atomic mass unit okay that's mass of neutron and then minus the mass of lithium mass of lithium is 7.01600 uh, U okay so now we can calculate the mass defect okay let's calculate 3 times 1.007825 okay and then plus uh, 4 times 1.008665 okay and then uh, minus the 7.01600 okay so we get uh, we got uh, 0 0.04235U. Uh, ah, okay. Uh, 0 0.04235 uh, atomic mass unit. Okay, now uh, you need to convert this uh, atomic mass unit to kilogram. Okay. Kilo uh, oh, but this one in MeV. So there is actually a direct path. Uh, you don't need to convert to kilogram. You can directly convert atomic mass unit to MeV because we have this formula. You see that? Ah, uh, over here. Uh, where is it? Ah, this one. You see? Uh, atomic mass unit. You can directly convert to the energy. Yeah, the mass convert to energy MeV. You convert convert to MeV. You just multiply nine three one point five. Uh, 931.5 okay so let's do the quick method first uh, okay let me drag this over okay so I can do the quick method okay just um, hold on a second for me okay uh, so let me do the quick method so I can find my energy the binding energy is uh, in is uh, just uh, it's actually the formula delta mc square understand delta mc square uh, however because i already have atomic mass unit i can cut directly convert to mev because the question needs mev yeah it needs mev uh, so you need mev energy in mev so i can directly convert the u con convert to mev so from u convert to you know from u convert to mev uh, I can directly just uh, uh, multiply 931.5 uh, if you want MeV convert back to Joule uh, uh, MeV convert back to atomic mass unit you divide lah like divide by 931.5 okay so um, I just use this one uh, okay let's calculate so I just use the 0 0.042135 U uh, directly I multiply by directly multiply by 93 uh, 931.5 uh, 931.5 so yeah 931.5 okay so what do I get so what do I get let's count let's see uh, multiply by 931.5 and I got the MEV 39.25 uh, MEV ah that's it that's the answer 39.25 MeV okay so this is the first method okay is there any other method yeah is there any other method you can do the quick method uh, using this one yeah directly convert yeah put it here or you can do the the uh, uh, slower method you atomic mass unit you convert to kilogram first convert to kilogram first uh, that is uh, you uh, 0 0.042135 U uh, convert to kilogram convert to kilogram is uh, U convert to kilogram is uh, multiply 1.66 exponent negative 27 uh, multiply if kilogram to U is divide lah. Uh, I want to write it down over here so that you always remember okay so uh, U convert to kilogram yeah this is the mass uh, 
mass uh, masses okay these are the masses yeah mass uh, mass unit yeah mass unit so atomic mass unit convert to kilogram is multiply 1.66 exponent negative 27 uh, if uh, the opposite direction it is one divide lah uh, divide yeah divide okay let me write it properly yeah um, divide by 1.66 exponent negative 27 uh, okay uh, okay and then uh, all right so i convert this one first so that means uh, atomic mass unit i will need to convert to kilogram before i can substitute into the delta mc square uh, because this one must be in kilogram delta mc square must be in uh, maybe i should write over here again uh, the, another one uh, eb yeah delta mc square okay if you want to um, put the value of delta m into this equations this delta m need to be in kilogram ah uh, because this one is the the binding energy is in joule understand it's in joule so you need to uh, put the delta m in uh, the unit kilogram first yeah you cannot you cannot uh, substitute the unit uh, atomic mass unit cannot yeah uh, the atomic mass unit this one you cannot directly substitute here uh, you must convert to kilogram first so how to convert to kilogram you multiply by 1.66 lah so you multiply by 1.66 uh, exponent negative 27 okay huh? so uh, what do I get uh, so I I got let's calculate yeah let's calculate uh, 0 0.04235 you atomic mass unit multiply 1.66 exponent negative 27 so the answer is a uh, 6.99 uh, four four one, yeah. Exponent negative twenty nine kilogram. Ah, then only here you can substitute uh, the delta m in kilogram. Ah, uh, six point nine nine. Ah, uh, four four one exponent negative uh, twenty nine kilogram. Understand? Uh, all must be in SI unit. All must be in. SI unit only, yeah. SI unit only. Uh, when substitute, okay. Uh, and then uh, that's delta m in the mass defect in kilogram. The speed of light uh, is three exponent eight. Three exponent eight can find this value in the list of constant. Okay, speed of light square. Okay, and then uh, calculate, yeah. And uh, three x multiplied three exponent eight and then square so uh, you get the answer in uh first you get the answer in uh joule okay you get answer in joule 6.29 uh 49 uh 69 yeah 2949969 exponent uh negative 12 joule uh, you get unit in joule first okay you get unit in joule first but then you want to co uh, convert the joule into MeV. Uh, convert the joule into MeV. We divide electron, divide mega. Uh, remember that. Uh, remember the energy unit. We have uh, MeV, EV, joule. Understand? Uh, from MeV to EV is uh, we multiply, multiply mega. Uh, EV convert to joule. We multiply electron charge. Okay, from joule we go back to electron. We divide electron charge. Electron volt go back to mega electron volt. We divide by mega. Uh, this is uh energy unit. Yeah, this all are energy unit. Uh, let me. Okay, this all are energy unit. Yeah, energy unit. Uh, energy unit. Understand? Uh, this all are energy unit. Uh, just now is mass. Mass is uh, between atomic mass unit and kilogram. Energy unit we have MeV, EV, and Joule. 
So from MEV to EV, we multiply mega, multiply mega. From EV go to Joule, we multiply electron charge. Then the other way is divide, divide. Yeah, Joule to electron work, we divide. Electron work to divide electron. Electron work to mega electron work, we divide by mega. Okay. So now I want to convert Joule to Joule, convert Joule to MEV. Yeah, Joule to MEV, we divide electron, divide mega. Okay. So that means uh, this one we need to uh, divide uh, divide by uh, electron charge and then divide by mega mega is exponent exponent 6 uh, so divide by exponent 6 uh, yeah. exponent 6 is mega lah. Uh, yeah. is divide mega lah. divide exponent 6 means divide mega yeah. and so in the end what do we get what do we get? Uh, divide by electron charge. Our uh, electron charge is 1.6 exponent negative 19. Okay, and then divide by mega. Mega is uh, 1 exponent 6. Okay, so I got the answer is uh, 39, oops, 39.34, 39.34 MeV. Ah, you see that? The answer almost similar to before this. Uh, the answer is almost similar to before this. Last time I uh, convert directly from U, convert U, U directly to MeV. Yeah, because it's uh, from mass, from mass convert directly to energy. Ah, uh, from from mass from mass directly convert directly to energy. I just multiply uh, 931.5 uh, from U go to MEV uh, 931.5 and I got this value 39.25 so this is the first uh, fast, the fastest method uh, and then the second method is uh, the second method is I uh, U I need to convert to kilogram first and then substitute the kilogram into delta MC square you know delta MC square uh, substitute here in kilogram and then I got a unit in joule and joule I convert to MeV by divide electron divide mega and I got 39.34 MeV so a bit different the value uh, why different because 931.5 this one is actually a, a, uh, approximate value it's not ve uh, very accurate uh, 931.5 actually not very accurate not very accurate. The most accurate one should be this one, 39.34. This one should be the most accurate. This one actually is less accurate, but it has the quickest method. Yeah? Quickest method. Uh, just multiply 931.5. This 931.5 is actually already a rounded up value. Rounded up value. That's why the final answer is a little bit different. Understand? A little bit different. But both methods will be usable. Usable because uh, if you want to do quick, we accept uh, both answer lah. We accept both answer. Yeah. Uh, you want because you got in U convert directly to MEV, so we can save our work uh, directly from this. You know, from uh, U we can just directly get this uh, MEV uh, from atomic mass unit. Actually, we just directly get MEV. Uh, yeah. Save our work from uh, the long method. Okay. Uh, but I just want to tell you that both methods are usable. Okay, so that's all for these questions. I hope you understand and um, uh, stay tuned for upcoming videos. Okay, I want to make a bracket here. Yep, and more. I was going to use this over and over again. Yeah, going to use this. Uh, this unit conversion over and over again okay that's all for this question bye